Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you all are doing well. And in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest free roam missions to complete in order to maximize your time and your effort and to take advantage of all of the free roam bonuses this month. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so for all those new players who really don't know what classify as a free roam mission, free roam missions are, hold on, pretty much anything in these little peach markers on your on your map this is a blood money mission and these are stranger missions those count as free roam missions and they're scattered all over the map so this month there is a bonus actually for the free roam missions you'll get double money double gold and double xp for completing any free roam missions and as well as any free roam events or trader events to be more specific now free roam events will be those little notices that pop across your screen and give you the option to hit the button to go immediately into a free roam event that's different than the free roam missions. Free roam missions are like I showed you. Those are those um, peach little markers that are either stranger mission, blood money missions, and so on and so forth. So now to be able to take advantage of this bonus and get the most bang for your buck, in my opinion, you want to find the easiest free roam missions to do. Complete them over and over again so you can continue to stack that cash, stack that gold, and stack that XP. And in my opinion, the easiest free roam missions to do is the McFarland Ranch. Coda Body, she has the best and easiest free roam missions. And what's great about Bonnie's location, if you look on my mini map, you see that there's a there's a stranger mission is Bonnie. And you look up down the road, you see there's a little blood money mission. You'll be able to hit two missions pretty much at once. Like once you get done with with Bonnie's mission, there's a little cooldown. You can run right down the road and do the blood money mission, which is not that hard at all. Then by the time you get done with the blood money mission, you can run back to Bonnie and rinse and repeat so you just go to bonnie and you pick one of the missions that you feel like doing you know these are all pretty much self-explanatory you you're doing it either an escort a recovery or delivery now the on the hunt is the cougar it takes a little bit of time it's probably the longest well n correction it's, it's, it's probably slightly longer than um than some of the other ones um the escort you probably always are going to be going towards armadillo so that could be a little long long variety but the, the cougar always pretty much spawns in the same spot. So you can get that done a little bit quicker because you'll once you've done it a couple of times, you'll know where the cougar is going to spawn. So you won't need to do too much to track them. You'll be able to find them. Um, but all of these are really good. They don't take that long. And you'll be able to get them done and get moving. Probably should have my gun now because always when you go into that bridge, there's always some shenanigans going on. Every single time. That was the first time that no one has shot at me going under that bridge. Now you gotta be careful when you in these landing and shooting because everybody's a criminal, so they'll all start shooting at you if you shoot at the wrong person. See, that was pretty quick, pretty easy. I really, really went from McFarland's Ranch to Thieves Landing, which is really close. The delivery didn't take no time at all. And now once I get back to Bonnie, it'll be a little cool down, so I'll run over and I'll do their blood money mission. And that's it, man. That's probably one of the easiest ways for you to be able to maximize this bonus and be able to get the most XP, most gold, and most money by doing these free roam missions. By hopping in between the two, going back and forth so you never really catch the cooldown. And you'll have a constant flow of dollars, XP, and gold. So that is it for this one, man. I hope it was helpful in some way, shape, or form. If it was, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button because I make guide tip videos all the time. And by hitting the subscribe button, It'll ensure that you don't miss the next video. All right, guys, that is it. Hope my method helps. Go get that money, get that gold, get that XP, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Hey, Outlaws, if you enjoyed that video, then check out this next video. That's some more Red Dead Online content. 